Good everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome. If you are a regular subscriber, thank you for your support. Um, everyone, please make sure you just go ahead and press that thumbs up button on this video. Um, this is going to be a good video today. I have not made a video in a while. Um, just like, you know, off of a whim or just when I'm feeling really deep and spiritual. And I think I feel, obviously, because like when I wake up in the morning, what I do is I meditate. I meditate and pray. And this morning I woke up and... Um, I got up, I said, okay, you know, I'm not going to eat leftovers from Bubba's that I had last night. Um, I'm trying to get my body right, trying to get my mind right. So, you know, I got my fish oil, my cod liver. Um, I used the Carlson's brand, the best um, Norwegian uh, lemon cod fish oil, you know, took a tablespoon of that, took a tablespoon of my uh, sweet son of black sea oil. I should do reviews on both of those, by the way. But anyhow, I said, you know, I need to get my mind right. You know, how many of y'all need to get your mind right? You've been, it don't even have to be anything major. Excuse me, I'm playing with my hair. I'm trying to get it because it's kind of frizzy. Um, but anyhow, um, I'm trying to get my mind right. And certain vitamins and stuff help you attain that. Okay. Um, it has been some things that I have been noticing that people have been going through. I have been experiencing, um, and God said he have plans for, uh, you know, his thoughts for us is to prosper us. So this video is just going to be transparent. Um, it's interesting. This is not even intentional, but it's interesting because it just came to me that my um, church is having a panel discussion tonight on how to live your life. Now, I will say, obviously, you know, I go to a Christian uh, based church. This message could apply to anybody. You, you, if you a spiritual person, you believe in God, whatever name you call him, this message going to help you out. Okay. Thank you, God. I'm going to talk about anything that comes to me. A lot of times we wonder why something isn't growing or something isn't i may need to turn on my light y'all why something isn't manifesting right in our lives you know you may want more money you you may want a better job and i am getting hot and i'm thinking i ah, should i take off uh this but anyhow um you may want a better lover you may want a lover you may want your relationship to get better and then it's like, so what are you doing about it exactly, right? We think something magical is just supposed to happen, come out the sky, or go get a, you know, get, I don't know, some of y'all go to magic, spell work, whatever. I was, <laughs> I was listening to YouTube, it's this guy that I follow, and I may not necessarily agree with his presentation all the time. I don't necessarily do what he does. You know, I believe in what I believe in, but I don't exactly practice what he practiced. But his message still remains the same. It still was a good message. It still could be applied. Too many of us are half-stepping. We half-stepping. We, but we want something. We, we want this huge thing, but we're not willing to put in the work. This could apply now in Buddhist principles, right? If you are grounded, a well-grounded person, you are grounded in all as aspects of your relationship. That means when it comes to your, your, sex, your sexual relationship, whether you're married, unmarried, if you are in a committed relationship and you're having premarital sex, this I ain't trying to judge. We just talking. We talking. We speaking freely. When it comes to you know you pleasing your spouse because it's 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 you pleasing them. Um, obviously, you know how you speak to them, being emotionally connected, being spiritually connected. If you are a performer, if you are an artist, if you whatever you do, if you are a uh, uh, you play sports, if you do not get that thing. 
a hundred percent, how can you expect? Excuse me. How can you expect awesome results if you don't get up and practice? Y'all get it. Now, this young man was talking about people wanting their boy. He used girls, you know, losing weight. But we know that men should be trying to look good for their mates as well. Um, men should be practicing the same thing. I don't think, I hope he wasn't being discriminatory uh, with his words. But, you know, this is, this is what, this is the thing. I was telling somebody very close to me, like, I think sometimes we try to figure out our loved one's problems, but it's their problem to figure out. Also, this man was talking about putting God first. I'm I'm a, I'm going I'm to go all over the place because I had to make this video quick. I have to get ready for work. But something that stood out to me, he was like, you know, a lot of times we we exalt ourselves and we don't exalt God and we don't we don't put God first in our in our, our everyday life and it's funny because I have I'm dealing with things and you know my relationship is cool but it's some things that are lacking and as soon as I want to start complaining to God I just start saying thank you God you know what and I gave it to him because the thing is I'm at a place where if something's gonna work out whether it be him job money getting a new car, getting whatever. If it's going to be, it's going to be. I'm not going to rush nothing. I'm not going to force nothing. I'm not going to do none of that. I'm not going to do any of that. And I think we all got to get to that place. We got to give it to God and saying that man, man can only do so much. We can only do so much. The people we confide in can only do so much. And some people just want to know your business or talk about you anyway. So why not go to God? But the thing